I have never been on a boat that has made me go wow as often as this one have. This is just incredible. It's a Hans Tiger. It's a specific design for an owner who wanted a boat exactly how he wanted it. And he, uh, he had this commissioned. And in fact, this is the very first one. He's going to build a couple more. This one's also going to be available for charter. I think it's going to be in Ibiza, but it is just unbelievable. It is like the most amazing it's like a dream come true really you can understand how someone sort of come up with this and then developed it so we're going to start right at the back this where we stepped on slides away there's a tender underneath here there's also more toys live under the floor underneath here but then this whole back area lifts up flush so you can close this off when the boat's on the way but when you're stopped this is just a massive party deck let's go on in you might have noticed this dripping there's a waterfall here we turned it off for a minute but the idea is that you walk through a waterfall onto the boat and the first thing you find is this incredible party zone it's actually a trimaran it's the first trimaran we've had on the channel so it has three hulls it has a main hull and two outer hulls that gives you a lot of beam and a lot of stability it's been designed very single-mindedly for well, for partying isn't it really you've got this wonderful area here the kitchen is all open plan just amazing. Now we're going to have a wander on through and the, let the wow start. We'll head up through here first of all. This is the owner's cabin. So the first thing to mention in here is all these skylights and windows because they're all configurable. They're tinted down at the minute but you can change those to clear, you can have them opaque, you can change those however you want them. And you've got the bed here the air conditioning and the lighting all the way up through here TV as you can see and then as we go through this cabin you've got this area up here right in the bow we're in the central hull at the moment of the three of them that's like a little chill out area up here and if we loop on around there's a little dressing table there obviously you can put a stool or something here and then we drop on back down again and this takes us down to the ensuite so what we've got here is the twin sinks that of course closes over that's to the shower <laughs> this feels like something completely out of the future doesn't it shower there let's close that one over even the handles are amazing these leather orange handles to everything toilet is in there you can see again the shape of the hull and then a bit of storage along here and in fact if we look out here you can actually see the water and over there you can see the uh, one of the other hulls because we're in the center at the moment so that's that area if we come back up here it's like being in a spacecraft isn't it it's just unbelievable straight out of star wars this is incredible let's head back a bit further And we'll come right on back there's more cabins to see so we'll drop down here this is a washing machine or dryer i suspect that one is yeah there's the washing machine in that one you've got wine cooler on this side this is this galley area if we go right around this one, we will find the VIP guest cabin. So obviously you've got your cooking here, your sink, your hob, the dishwasher, refrigeration and so on. And if we come on around here, this is the VIP guest cabin. Again, with that amazing sort of theme to it with these really high ceilings and these windows that they put in like this which all tint down this is storage in behind here and you've got a hanging locker over on this side like so and if we come around here tv that rises up as you can see it's in the raised position at the minute those amazing windows again and then up here this one takes us through into the ensuite 
this boat is going to be such a big grin. And the shower. That, of course, closes off. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Much more to see. Back out here. Isn't this fantastic? Can you imagine having a day out on this or a weekend or a week? That would just be brilliant, wouldn't it? As I think I mentioned, I believe they are going to be chartering this. So I'll see if I can find out a website and put a link in the description for that. Um, that chill out area, I think we saw that on the way in. But check out this carbon fibre grand piano. <laughs> That's the coolest thing in the world. Another wow factor. Okay, we're heading to here. Now, this is redesigned for the kids. So what you've got in here, if we come on through, is this is inspired by business class flight with these beds, single beds, set up with their own little sort of cubicles, as it were. Got TVs that rise up out of each end, but it's kept open plan because it's for the kids. So you can just, you know, hear them and keep an eye on them. And these beds, these controllers, because these beds, they are electronic, they raise up and tilt, and you can, you know, if you're just reading, for example, you can bring the back up and that kind of stuff. <laughs> just unbelievable, isn't it? And this here is for a nanny. So if you've got a nanny for your kids, she can sleep down here, or he. And it's just a little area. Like so. I'm not sure why that's putting a dark bar across. That's weird, isn't it? There we go, it's disappeared. Um, and this side then, storage, hanging lockers, that kind of stuff. That's all in there. Let's come back up again. Obviously there are ensuite facilities, so if we head forward. How about that? through here is an absolutely massive shower and again those funky windows with the sea reflecting through them that is that you've got hanging lockers in here as well loads of storage for clothes all that kind of stuff so it's a dressing area as well as an ensuite and you might think there's no toilet and you'd be right because that is back here That's amazing. I love this though. Isn't that cool? Okay, much more to see, including windows so you can see the sea underneath. We'll spin on round here, and this then takes us up to the bridge. And this is inspired again, this is very much sort of, you know, fighter jet or Star Wars and Sega. There we go, that's the make. <laughs> Check these out. Wow, 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 wow. And in fact, this whole area here, this comes down. So if you want to enclose this, the weather's bad, you power that down, it's all powered. And that's how that closes up. You've got some beds here as well. They're on both sides. And you may not have noticed, because I hadn't until I got up here when I first looked around the boat. It's actually a sailing boat. Look at this. It's the rig. How amazing is that? These are all powered. You've got power furling for the main source that comes out and the force as well is powered that unfurls and the controls for all of those are here it's got twin diesel engines as well that's why you've got these it's a dual helm position as you can see you've got the navigation screens in here and apparently it's good for about 15 knots under sail or under power there's twin diesel engines in it let's continue on back here bar area is back here and another fabulous chill out area right on the back <laughs> that's astonishing isn't it hot tub as well obs and then we're back down this side and then this is things like the barbecue for up here there's a sink down that end if we look underneath here that's just a bit of storage. But that one there is a freezer. And that one there is a fridge. And a bit more storage there and an ice maker. 
there's more. <laughs> Let's carry on around. So these areas here, you see there's one here that goes on around and down into this hull. And if we go on round, we'll find another one on the other side. These take us down to crew cabins. So we go up here. And now we're right up to one of the bows. I mentioned it is a trimaran, so your main hull is there. You've got um, this hull that we're on here and another one that we saw on the other side just over there. So down here, there's a ladder that takes you down. There's a bed that goes that way across, single bed. And then there's, if I lower that in, you're going to see it. There's a toilet and so forth all down in there. So there's two of those. So you can have two crew sleeping in separate cabins. It's just bonkers, isn't it? Okay, let's head on back. I think the only thing left to talk about is the engines. So we'll come back around here. Back into here, look at these lovely seats and look how they put the logo even in places like this. Do you know, it's like someone had a dream, isn't it? And went, woke up and went, right, let's build it. And then did it. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And wow, wow, wow. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna look at is the engines. They are over here. Perfect, thank you very much. So that is the engine space for generators in here as well, as you can see, whisper power generator and then Volvo Penta engines, two of those, D4 225s, they're straight shaft drive, it's about the only conventional thing on the boat. So that's giving out sort of 15 to 17 knots, flat out or under sail, and then 10 is a typical cruising speed. So there we go, the shower has fired up, and this has got to be the place to finish up, hasn't it? So there it is. Massive, massive thanks to Hans Tiger. They actually stopped me as I walked past the boat and said, hey, Aquaholic, you need to come and film this. And they were right. That is sensational. Let me know what you think in the comments. And we look forward to catching you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.